is the before and after hair transplant restoration surgery done by me, Dr. John Deep. Um, we did his hair a year ago. Now he came back and the first thing he told me he's excited and he's very happy. Um, the result is very natural and, uh, you know, not much detectability. Uh, he even mentioned to his barber and uh, she, she couldn't believe it. But the idea for me is, you know, this is for me bring most joy to me is when I see a patient um, you know with a great hair result and then it really changed their life I, I can see in the picture before and after um, he's happier but he did make a point that he's gonna smile the before too but still um, uh, this is his end result I mean he was pretty much gone in the front toward the back now let me show you what he looked like before that was him and this is what he is now full set of hair and very natural and extremely dense and right side view left side view and this is what he looks like and for the audience who want to know more of my work just go on YouTube type up hair transplant restoration surgery result with one year post up with before and after photo by Dr. Deep or you can go to my website at www.mhtaclinic.com click on the before and after icon on the right hand side for more information Click on the album that applied to you for advanced hairlines, click on that. For uh, hairline, click on that. And there's more before in, and after inside. Or call 1-866-999-6482. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, JGD. Uh, there's over 1,700 videos, but the before and after is under the favorite. So this is what the patient looked like. Um, getting back to this patient. As you know, when I say hairline, hair, especially hairline is an art form. Uh, you don't want to do the hairline too high where it looks abnormal and you don't want to do too low where it, it, it's, it doesn't look natural. Uh, when I create, I always approach as an art form, uh, as an artist. But when I want to approach, my idea is what? To create the hairline that as if the patient has no hair loss, what is the most highest and natural hairline that he should have? It should be all the way here and then it should be all the way down here. So on average from the eye round to the hairline is around 7.5 to 8.5 centimeter and for this patient actually it fits 7, uh, 7 centimeter. Now, not everybody going to fit exactly you know, within the average height uh, of the hairline. As long as it's proportional to a third, on the eye, eye round hairline is a third, make labella, tip to nose a third, tip to nose bottom, chin is a third. And then we arch back and then the angle we transplant very precise and we increase this and we change this. And you can see, this is what he looks like now. And I'm extremely happy for him. And this is the art of hair transplant restoration. Thank you.